one of these days, I'm gonna start this stream with the karaoke that is transpiring in the background here while this while this starting screen is on. Good morning, chat. <clears throat> How are we doing? Tess with 44, 41 months of subbing. Gamma Gamma, 18 months of subbing. Jen makes shapes, 24 months of subbing. Lady Tamer, 10 months, let's go. How are we this morning? How are we doing this morning? <coughs> Whoa, I'm done with the coughing, but I just got myself uh, just got myself wound up there. Uh, but the coughing, last week's mess is finally cleared out. Unboxing day. We haven't had one in a while. No orange. Yeah, robbed. Oh yeah, I should have waited till the was the was the prediction over. Was the prediction over? Thank you, Lilium. No orange, but also not trash colors. I think purple is my clear number two. I think purple is my clear number two. We are hyped for no specific reason. I'm hyped because y'all are here, chat. <clears throat> I'm going to say a thing that I think you know, but I don't say it often. Um, I need y'all today. Like, yeah, I need y'all to be here for me today. So that's all I'm going to say. And I appreciate y'all. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad y'all are here. No bod. 100K giveaway. Let's go. Let's do it. Nobod, I'm going to let you choose. Nobod, do you want a chaos giveaway or do you want me to pick up a something else giveaway? Nobod. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think it was Valentine's Day. Like, purple's, purple's pretty good for Valentine's Day. Love y'all. I really do. I really do. Rewizzles, 42 months in a, in a row. <laughs> Prime number, Rewizzles. Let's go. Chaos all the way. Sergeant Story with the five gifted subs. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're going to do chaos. We're going to do chaos. Sergeant Story, thank you for the five gifted subs. Toga, four months of subbing. <clears throat> Schmevelin, 45 months of subbing. Schmevelin, my new friend on the Mastodon, my new friend on the Don. Hit that exclamation point socials chat if you want to uh, see where I'm hanging out on the socials these days. <clears throat> you were the only trash colors picker. I mean, if we're saying purple's trash colors, we got we to gotta have to talk. OMG, Strings and Pedals is here. All right, let's get this NoBod giveaway going. We have to take advantage of the less viewers situation, right? That's why when you drop the giveaway right from the jump, we got we to gotta increase the odds here real quick. So chaos giveaway, we're going to open this. We're going to open this. Exclamation point raffle, chaos giveaway. <clears throat> Wait, who do you ban? We don't have to ban anyone yet. Exclamation point raffle. So thank you again, Sergeant Story. Enjoy y'all's gifted subs. Give uh, Sergeant Sergeant Story a, a, a thank you. Give him a give him a um, give him a Toby emote uh, mention. Toga again, four months. Schmevelin, forty five months. Thank you. I think I'm caught up. Thanks for the notification, Twitch. Did y'all get notifications this morning? I feel like there were notifications went out. All right, I think we're caught up on the alerts. Nice. <clears throat> Let's go, let's go. We have chaos, we have chaos. Good. Yeah, I thought y'all got the, um, I thought y'all got the, uh, it looked like the notifications worked this morning. Like these, the stream notifications have been okay recently. Not great. No, and then I say that notification was delayed. Odd. Um, it's only been seven minutes, so could be a weird thing. Um, Brittlemer, welcome, first time chat. Anyone can enter to win these raffles. If you're here, just type exclamation point raffle. You just have to be present to win, and you have to email me your shipping address. You can live anywhere in the world, even Antarctica. You just got the notification too, Namiki Winterblad, so I guess it is a little bit delayed this morning. I caught COVID last week and have the brain fog. Ugh, exclamation point raffle. <laughs> yeah, you're still fogged out. I mean, the COVID's still for real, y'all. COVID is still for real. It's going around. Going around for sure. It's never not going around these days. So yeah, you don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. Just type exclamation point raffle. No bod. Thank you, odd copy. <clears throat> Caught it last week for the first time. Streak over it. Yeah, I'm still... It's still, we're a weird household. Me, my wife, and my daughter. Zero. My son, two. Strange. <clears throat> worse than for real, we keep finding out uh, worse after after shocks after shocks and effects from it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Big day today. Very exciting. Nice. <clears throat> I have not ever sent anything to Antarctica, but we did get the post office 
information um, for like uh, McMurdo, I believe. So I could like send like a generic postcard to McMurdo. <clears throat> I was on East Coast time for work training last week. No time for Twitch. Sadness. That is sadness. I mean, if y'all have to miss Twitch for work, that's just equates to sadness. All right, let's pick a winner. We'll get this show on the road today. Oh, Sergeant Stretch, second time chaos winner, right? You won a chaos one, like the first chaos one or the second chaos one. Oh, snap. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. Nice. All right. So we're going to re-chaos. We're going to re-chaos. <clears throat> yeah, we'll put a link up Slumberland Studio for that. What is a chaos win? A chaos win is I'm picking a random, whoops, I'm picking a random wrapped pin out of here and I'm mailing it to you. So it's like, it's choosing chaos. You don't know what's coming. So that's a chaos, it totally rigged, <sighs> totally rigged. I think we'll give, uh, we'll give Stretch the, uh, this is the perfect, this is the perfect um, uh, questionable sushi for Sergeant Stretch. We'll give him Stretch Chef. I think that's uh, befitting, befitting here. Oops, I need to write it on here before. Oh, and red wrapping for Valentine's. Italian A, you received yours yesterday. What did you get? Uh, what am I doing, Sergeant Stretch? Anyone who won giveaways last week, I shipped them out. So I'm all caught up. So this is the only shipment in the queue for today so far. So we might ship them today or tomorrow. Yay, Ted Lasso. So now I have two reasons I need to finish Ted Lasso. One, Slumberland Studio is coming on friend of the show. Tomorrow we're recording, and I'm sure she will give me grief about that. And two, the new season's coming out. So I need to finish before beforehand. So <clears throat> it was a Pilot Cavalier medium red and pink. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice, Italian, eh? I mean, I'm almost there. I'm not going to watch the trailer until I watch the um, the last couple episodes. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I think I'm pretty free tonight. I'm new here. Thought it was like YouTube and subscribe by accident. Nice. Well, uh, you you followed. I don't, you, you definitely followed. You should, you should hang out. It's fun. You should just watch Wrexham instead. I'm almost done with the first season of Wrexham, which has been good. Like, I'm trying to avoid spoilers on that, too, but... <clears throat> um, all right, so let's let's hit a couple things here. Good morning, Caffeine. You're free on Valentine's Day? I'm free every day. <laughs> Megalinity, 12 months of subbing. Let's go. Good morning, friendos. All right, let me, put the, let me put the chaos back. Put the chaos back in the box chat. If you're new here, this is the ice box of happiness. This is where all the giveaway stuff lives. I give away stuff on stream a lot. <laughs> wow. Wow. We just dropped. Lair Lenny, 15 months of sub, and Tony, 46 months of sub, and Strings and Pedals, 11 months of sub, and let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I knocked the. Uh, I knocked the. Uh, this is the, uh, the episode 200 poster that Joey Feldman did for us. So now it's a little bit uh, off kilter. This is Brad and the Mule, me, Mike, and Anna uh, with Joey's wonderful artwork. So let me, uh, let me fix this. <clears throat> I'm not going to line it up. My wife and I are talking about uh, rearranging the stream, the stream room. <clears throat> I think we have a plan. We have a game plan, chat. We're gonna be a true influencer. <clears throat> but that's a long, that's a long term. Uh, sometimes this year, this year goal. <coughs> uh oh. Neon signs, bisexual lighting. I mean, yes to all of those things. I am into that. Uh, let's see. What is this clip?
<laughs> that was funny. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was watching myself. I have too much fun here, chat. I need it. I need the fun today. All the fun. <laughs> that was funny. Um, Got to make it so you don't have a bright window backlighting you? Absolutely no, Bod. That drives my wife crazy. As being the photographer that she is, she despises this situation right now. So we're going to open it up eventually. This is a long-term thing. Like literally sometime this year. We're going to turn turn my stream desk so we have the whole room as the background. Get some get some stuff going in here. So yes, we'll get this out of here because it drives her crazy. It bothers me too because it affects it affects the lighting on on the desk as well. So um I think I missed some things. Uh you're free every day because pens are not a real job. You would know. You would know. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? I feel like I've missed some stuff. I wanted to cover a couple of things. Saw a walnut ice box for sale locally for $2,500. Did not buy. Yeah, like I don't know like the details on this thing. Um, but like I no need to because it's never going anywhere. Get a gamer fuel fridge. <laughs> ice box. All right. Please make this a gif. All right. We'll have to have that. We'll knew the, we'll knew the gif. Um, we'll figure out what alert that gif can be. Um Maybe if I get raided, that could be the GIF or something like that. Any advice on how to convince my partner I need a Toyoka Craft case for Valentine's Day? Um, that they come with pink lining in the trays, and it's very Valentine specific. Like I think that's the big selling point. Do I have mine in here? I don't have my pink tray in here. Oh, I guess I, I do have some pink in one of these trays. I have a, I have a little pink tray. But yeah, you just need a pink tray. Like, <clears throat> so it's very Valentine's Day. <laughs> Wood is the most romantic material. This is a PG-13 stream. Although that's probably like a PG-13 joke these days. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's get down to some, some business here. Uh, number one. That jacket is Twitch purple. That's cool. I didn't even think about that. Number one, it's Ball Knock Zone Day. It's Ball Knock Zone Week on the blog chat. So yesterday we reviewed the Ball Knock Zone. We have some business to get to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before I get to the unboxing of stuff. So <clears throat> um, just letting y'all know we have the Ball Knock Zone giveaway for this fancy schmancy ball knock zone, the $40 friction that nobody needs, um, which is fine. Like, it's it's fine. It's just not for me. Um, then I reviewed it yesterday. Along with its counterpart, which I'm going to keep this ball knock zone here. I'm going to keep the uh, clear-ish gray looking one uh, here. Um, secondly... That's true. That's true. Pop a lock in. Ball knock zone clear. This one. Yeah, it's a great pin. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can find this quickly. I'm probably not going to be able to find this quickly. <clears throat> uh, what is... So... Arushi, the, the pins that got stolen after the California pin show. This wasn't a California pin show. Um, here it is. Got it. This wasn't at the California pin show, but it was post California pin show. Um, out to dinner. Um, uh, Arushi, Arushi pin got their car broken into and their stuff from the show was stolen. So if you see Dana Trio and other Arushi pins popping up anywhere for sale, Definitely keep this thought in mind. Um, but yeah, they got their car broken into after dinner. Got their luggage stolen. Got all the and all the pins were in there too. So like it was it was bad. It wasn't at, it wasn't during the show, um, but it was like on their way home or something like that. It was basically at a restaurant after after the show. 
um, broke in, stole all their, basically stole everything in, in their car. So including all these pins. So, oh, here's a link to this. So you can go read it and look at it afterwards. So they have a lot of notes in here and a lot of details. Um, Murdoch with the 12 months of subbing. Let's go. It's terrible. It's like they got everything, right? Hang on one sec. So I was reading through this yesterday and they, they got everything. <laughs> Yeah, imagine. That's just, and I've met them uh, at other shows. They go to other shows, uh, too. Always have some cool Dana trios. So yeah, this is a huge, huge theft. <clears throat> so they're working on it. So hopefully, hopefully they come into where other cars broke into. I have no clue. I mean, it says there's some. It says there were some witnesses nearby that called the police, and that a man and woman in a gray green minivan had rolled up. You can go read all. There's tons of detail on the on the page, but I don't know. <clears throat> what is Slack? It is a. It's kind of like our message board, like a online chat message board. Aside from the material loss, I hope the thieves please know what they have and don't just throw them in the trash. Right, that's a huge possibility. Right, like. Um. Right, like if the thieves don't know, like this could just be they. Just, uh. <clears throat> um, was anyone here? Did anyone here in chat go to the California Pin Show? Because it looked like a really good time. Um, it looked like it was a well-run show. Heard lots of good things uh, over the weekend. Heard there were uh, visuals on the previous promoter uh, walking around the show, which I thought was really funny. Um, you were there for three hours on Sunday. I did see that Sunday was pretty quiet, which happens at, at most pen shows. That's why I've stopped worrying about staying till Monday. I'll just bail Sunday, Sundays these days because it just kind of tends to be that way. It was wonderful. Good. See why Matthew Chin said it was great. Nice. Kimberly said F an FC 48 case was stolen too from the show, like from FC or from someone else, like from the FC table. <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't talked to Kimberly yet. I know she's she'll probably write it up this week on the uh, from the FC table. Ugh. <clears throat> so she'll probably write it up this week. We'll see. Toby, chill. He's playing with this toy up here and he's having way too good of a time. Um, anyone else go? I I think it was generally positive. So I'm gonna have to talk to Mario and get. Uh, recap from him. I'm sure he will effusively praise it because you know, that's that's Mario. Like it's of course it's going to be great, but it actually genuinely looked great. Kimberly mentioned a couple sticky fingers on the show floor. That's always a battle at all these shows because ge generally, as a community, we're very trustworthy, right? And everyone just throws their put throws their stuff on the table for people to handle and look at. And once all of a sudden you get a few few too many people around <clears throat> there's uh there's always some bad apples in the bunch and you just hate to see it because as a community that's not how we are right like we're super church like i hand over my pins to people all the time right i'll lay stuff down and walk away because i trust the people around there but like it's it sucks that there's always uh <clears throat> there's always some um where did carrie catch that where did carrie catch that guy <laughs> they caught this one guy on video <laughs> At <laughs> one show where Carrie Carrie 007. I guess Carrie needs the spy master pin, right? From Kenro. Forgot to make that joke. <coughs> Colorado show. Yeah. So it seems like every show's got some idiot there who who just thinks they're they're better than all of us. So um okay. Oh, Ian said he would return return. Good. Since the folio incident, I am so so paranoid in public. Yeah. It's definitely unfortunately. <clears throat> we have to all be have to be more paranoid about everything these days, unfortunately, like in this state of the world, big picture. There is always that guy, unfortunately. All right, so let's switch it into some fun. Well, I mean, this is always fun. This is fun. Hey, we got to talk about the real world too, right? So things happen and it's good for everyone to be made aware of the things that go on and always keep your eyes out, help out, help out others and things like that. Genius at the Orlando show came back a second day to steal with stolen pin in his bag, caught and arrested. I do remember that, Zane's dad. I remember something about that. That's unbelievable. Muhadi with the two months of sub in. Thank you so much. Oh, I just realized. 
all of this uh, self promotion about the uh, the pin I'm giving it away, and it's literally just been sitting right here the whole time because I was going to put it back in the box. So the, yeah, there you go. This is your fancy marble barrel friction that I am giving away. Go to pinaddict.com. You can find it there. All right. Let me put that back in the box and make some room to do this. <sighs> the unboxing. We're going to do this today, chat. I have been... Uh, is Kimberly actually in the chat yet today? Kimberly is the only one I owe some, some stuff to. I've got... Sarah Inkwell Monster loaded up with a jet pens order. I got Jeff uh, Jeff Abbott loaded up with a gold spot order. I've got me loaded up with a Van S pens order. So I need to make sure Kimberly has all the stuff that she needs. Wow, this box is weird. How are we going to do this, chat? This is like an origami box situation here that I've probably made worse by trying to put it back together. I think this was, we have made a mistake here, chat. We have made a mistake. Mark Reisbach, 20 months of seven. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. As I fiddle twist with this pen here. Now I'm just agitated. We're going to have to stop. <laughs> know all the hobby setting yet? All right. I give. I punt. Punt. <clears throat> I, I need anyone to have some advice for me. Where's the best place to sell some higher end pins? I like to avoid eBay. So the pen addict Slack sell trade is pretty good. And then uh, Reddit uh, pin underscore swap is generally pretty good. <clears throat> Whew. How's Elizabeth? She's still feeling sad about the deer. She's mostly sad about her car not being fixed yet, I think is where we're at now. So <laughs> that's where we're at now. Hopefully another week or two and we'll be we'll be done. Uh, Instagram virtual pin show is also a good spot too. Instagram virtual pin show. Definitely a good spot. All right. So I have some stuff from Van S Pins. I know I bought a bunch of ink, at least several inks. So we'll... Open these up, <clears throat> and um, yeah, see what we got. I'm trying to remember what I got besides inks. I know one pen that I bought. Um, I don't know. Let's find out together. All right. So, big box. The octopus. Octopus is some of the ink. I think I got a Ferris wheel press. I got a wearing oil. Um, so yeah, the octopus ink. Uh, I should be here. Oh, I know something cool I got in here for me. I mean, it's all cool, but I did order something for me personally. put this over here because I'll always forget. Thank you, Brad. Mike. Mike is Mike is the ultimate packing guy. He does all the orders. All right, let me get all right. We needed a stand for this. <clears throat> wow strings and pedals. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let's do this. <laughs> all right i got a bunch of inks i'm not going to swatch them one at a time let's go through them first and then we'll see what we what we have um so here we have the octopus write and draw ink so this is the pigmented one um how do we say axolotl axolotl i don't know that's how i say it how do you say axolotl Feel sorry for anyone that needs to sell a Dana Trio anytime soon. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I, I mean, there's no way it's like a pen person that did that. <sighs> so these are the waterproof pigmented inks. So this is the write and draw version. I have some standard inks. Uh, 
axolotl, axolotl, axolotl. I like the little, like the little drawing. So that's his theoretically the ink color. Uh, petrol axolotl for fountain pen, calligraphy nib, and brush. Let's see here. So this looks like it'd be cool. We're gonna test all these out later. Okay, axolotl. Okay, I'm pretty good. Pretty good about it. So again, pigmented inks. Um, so these are permanent. This this particular style, the write and draw is permanent. And then I'll have some um, later in this box. We'll have just like your standard basic um, fountain pen inks as well. So we'll do some. We're definitely going to just do some playing around. I'll probably just do some cotton swab testing with these before I figure out uh, completely what I'm gonna do with all this. All right, let's see. <clears throat> all right, this is unknown. So again, another octopus. Where's octopus from? Germany? Oh, so we went with the same color or same ballpark just to kind of see what the differences are here. So I got petrol petrol buffalo and petrol axolotl and there's just a little bit different like i thought the swatches looked a little bit different um in there this one being more green and this one being more blue so it looks kind of different to me but i'm also like super particular i mean i i like just like similar colors a lot so we'll see how different they are in testing and then I do this too because then like I'll end up giving one away or something like that, right? So, and plus, I mean, how can you not love these little character drawings on here? All right, what's next? <clears throat> oh, okay, so they must have given me this for free because I didn't order this. <laughs> so Van S pens, when I order, they always throw some extra stuff in there for me to... Uh, review or to give away or stuff like that so yeah there's lots of extras here or i don't know if there's lots of extras but this is random uh ferris will press this is an ink charger set of new york new york collection so ooh, grand central skies sparkling lights on broadway central park greens ooh, cool brad what's the best ink color and why is it blue black i mean just spitting facts here that's all you need to know Facts, facts are facts. Blue, black is the best. I have decided on like a permanent uh, ink. Um, you know, I very rarely have an ink that is particular for a pen, right? Where I only use one ink and one pen. And I think after last week, I think the um, Sailor Seibuku is the one and only ink for the ocean. It's so good. I'm really enjoying this a lot. <clears throat> All right, so the Ferris wheel press, we got the Shimmer. And then we have uh, a light green and a lavender. This could be cool. That will be fun to mess around with. Ferris wheel packaging is so good. Yeah, and I'm glad their inks are um, inks are doing pretty well too. All right, next. Okay, so here's the octopus standard ink. So maybe they're in just different bottles here. So. The pigmented inks are in these type of larger ink bottles. So that's one good way to differentiate them. And then the standard inks are in the, what are these, Pelican bottles? Little Pelican bottles. Is that what they used to be? Uh, so we got mango here. So this is your standard ink, like not permanent, not pigmented, not waterproof. So this will be a fun color. Y'all know, like I didn't really, I haven't really uh, branched out on ink color and like I'm okay. I'm okay with not necessarily doing that. I like what I like, right? Especially if I'm just gonna test them out for the first time. I'll usually keep it pretty straightforward, right? The first time I do something and then I'll, once I decide I like it, then maybe we'll, then I'll kind of branch out. But like, usually like the first time I'm going into a brand, I'm going to get your blues, your oranges, your purples, maybe a light green, and then we'll kind of branch out into like the magentas, browns, and other things. So we'll see. I mean, 
There's not infinite colors out there. All right, so here's this I did order the big uh, box of Central Park greens because it looks like that yellow green that I like. So it's also in this little little set here. Yeah, great packaging, right? I will admit very freely. I dislike, I actively dislike these ink bottles from a usability perspective. The bottle's fantastic. What a great design. But this gives me the creeps thinking about having to use this. Right. I like I open this up and I feel like there's just nothing good that's going to happen from this. <laughs> there's nothing good that's going to happen to this. Even like Robert Oster is like tall and it's at least a little bit stocky and has a wider mouth. Like I am not <laughs> loving the idea of this despite the aesthetics. All right, see you Tess. Despite the awesome style, who it makes me nervous. Mine tipped over while Captain half of it spilled out. So yeah, like it is very, very beautiful, but whew, it is not the most functional ink bottle, right? Where is the ink made? Yeah, I mean, I would have to see if they make them themselves. I'm assuming they make them themselves from their, from the, uh, <clears throat> they've always been a brand that seemed like they, they just made their stuff, made them, made the products themselves, but I'm not 100% sure. I always use a syringe to fill these from anyway. Yeah, this is definitely looking like a syringe fill type of situation. They do all this little extra packaging to hold it upright here. <clears throat> So which manufacturer has the best combination of beauty and function when it comes to bottling ink? Like in the non acrimon category, I think Orochizuku, Pilot Orochizuku is probably one of the better ones. But they never actually say they're made in Canada. Yeah, I would have to go look in the, on the website and see, because I, I don't know. I certainly wouldn't, certainly couldn't speak on that without, <clears throat> I don't know for a fact, so I, I don't know. <laughs> FWPP feels like influencer ink. It's all about presentation. Actual usability is forgotten. I think they used to be way less usable. Um, and now I think they're getting onto uh, some better stuff. One sec. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. The wearing wool. I got the um, seven colored ocean. I think this is this have shimmer. Or sheen. I like the diamond bottles with the feet. So this is just like a bright blue. I think this one had some like sheen though. These are square. They're pretty small though. This is just kind of a dark blue. <clears throat>
One sec. All right, <clears throat> Kia new auto bottles. Yeah, those are good. I know, squirrel, sorry. <laughs> Important pickleball test. All right, another octopus. Oh, so this is a pastel, so this is a lighter one. This one I did kind of go off list for a little bit. So that's a pretty light green. So we'll see how... We'll see how this does in testing. <clears throat> Mont Blanc bottles are good. That's a good one. Say Boku, the first one. Say S E I. <clears throat> wow, I did order a bunch of inks. I think there's a bunch more to go. All right. Oh, this one looked cool on the on the images. The purple, purple. It's a bright one. That's a me color. Oh my God. My spam, like spam texts and spam calls have ramped up over the past month. Like I always have gotten a lot. Now I'm getting more than ever. So we'll test some of these out uh, here in a minute. Very Yamabuto-ish. <clears throat> Here's another pastel blue iris. Oh, had a little, little bottle link, little bottle leak. It doesn't look like, hmm, it's funny, it's not on here. This one's super light. We'll see what this looks like. <clears throat> My PayPal account is getting locked daily. Yeah, what is it for me? Netflix, maybe? Yeah, it doesn't look like it spilled from this bottle. Check the other boxes. Nope. <clears throat> uh, birds of a feather, Mandarin duck wing. I think this is one of the, this is where I went off. So like I've used the Van Diemen's, I like it. Um, so I bought a, a more weirder color for me. <clears throat> so it's kind of a funky brown. Oh, I get those too, Namiki Winter Vlad, about some property. So it looks like kind of a reddish brown. This one's hard to see in here. <clears throat> Man, I went all out on these. Lindgrun. Lindgrun. Uh, I mean, they're getting sampled just in general, not necessarily specifically for a blog post. I'll eventually review them. But I just bought a bunch of inks for, like, review. So, yeah, that's a, that's my kind of color with, like, the alt gold grunish. <clears throat> Stuff kind of greenish, greenish yellow. I don't remember these pastel ones. Did I actually order those? Maybe I did. All right, 
So I think that's all the inks. All right. 